I find the way to the finished box by choosing the correct answer. So we have 3n minus 2 times 27n is equal to 1 divided by 81. So this one is 3n minus 2 times 27 is 3 power of 3. 81 is 3 power of 4. Okay, so here 3n minus 2 times 3. Okay, you have power with power, so you have to multiply. So you have 3, 4 down here. So when you want to bring it up, the power will become negative 3, negative 4. So you can combine here, multiply. So multiply the same base, that means you have to add up yeah, power 3, and minus 2 plus 3, and is equal to 3, negative 4. When the base here is the same, you can just take the power, n minus 2 plus 3n is equal to negative 4, n plus 3n is 4. Okay, you don't want this one at this side, you move it to the other side. So at this side, you have negative 4. When negative 2 enters other side, it becomes positive 2. 4n is equal to negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, where n is equal to negative 2 divided by 4, okay, which is half. So, it's going down here. 4x plus 3 minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 3. So, you see that we cannot bring this one to the right because we have 3 here. So, we try to solve at one side first. Okay, 4x plus 3 is equal to 4x times 4, sorry, 4, 3 minus 4x. 4, 2 is equal to 3. So you see that you can factorize 4x out. And what is left is 4 power of 3 minus 4 power of 2 is equal to 3. So this one is 4x. This one is 64 minus 16 is equal to 3. 64 minus 16 is equal to 48. So here we have... 4x, 48 is equal to 3. So we can have 4x here, which is equal to 3 over 48. We can divide with 3, we get 1 over 16. So 4x is equal to 1 over 4. 16 is 4 to the power of 2, right? 4x is equal to 4 power of negative 2. We can bring it up. We have 4x is equal to negative 2. When this one and this one is the same, we can... Can so far and just get the power. So s is equal to negative two. So this way. Twenty five x plus two is equal to one over six two five power of x. So you see twenty five is two five power of two, right? This one is five power of two x plus two, and here one over six two five. This one can also be in uh, base of 5 okay using my using my calculator here 6 to 5 is equal to when I press shift and factorize I can get 6 to 5 is equal to 5 power of 4 so here 6 to 5 is actually 5 power of 4 if you don't uh, only class Swiss calculator can get this factorized if not you have to divide with 5 until you get 1. So what happened here is 6 to 5. You divide, you can see you can divide with 5. You divide with 5, you get 1 to 5. So you can divide with 5, you get 25, 5. So what you did is this one until you get 1. Okay, but since my calculator can get that, so this one is 5 power of 4. This one is 5 power of 4 x. So when you want to open the bracket, you need to multiply the power inside with the power outside. So 5 to x plus 2 is equal to 1 divided by 5 4 times x 4 x. When you want to bring this one up, the power will change to negative. So here 5 x plus 2 is equal to when you bring it up, the power will become negative 4 x. When you have both 5 here, you can only just take the power 2x plus 2 is equal to negative 4x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4 is equal to negative 4x. Bring x. 
So we bring this one to the right. 2x plus 4x is equal to and bring 4 to the other side, negative 4. 6x is equal to negative 4. x is equal to negative 4 divided by 6, which is equal to negative 2 over 3. So it is this way. 2 divided by 4, x minus 1 is equal to 16, 2, x. 2 is 2, divided 4 can be 2 power of 2, x minus 1 is equal to 16, is 2 power of 4, 2x. So 2 divided by, so this one means 2, divided with 2, so power, power, means you have to multiply the power is equal to, this one, power, power 4 times 2x is 8x. Sorry, 8x. Okay, so 2 and 2, you see here the same base. When divide, that means you have to minus the power. 2 is actually 2 power of 1, which is equal to 2, 1 minus. So this one is 2x minus 1 is equal to 2, 8x. Since the base is equal, you can just take the power. 1 minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 8x. 1 minus 2 times x is 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 is equal to 8x. So you bring x at one side. 1 plus 2 is 3 and this one you get 10x. 8x plus 2x is 10x. Therefore, x is equal to... You want x so you divide 3 divided by 10. So the answer is 3 over 10, which is this way. Five n plus one minus five n plus five n minus one is equal to hundred five. So hundred five you cannot change it into base of five. If you check hundred five, so hundred five you press equal. This is for uh, class fifth calculator only. You can see the when you factorize, hundred five is equal to three times five times seven. So you cannot change it into base of five. So what happened is that you need to try to solve at one side first. So five n times one is actually five n five one. Okay, minus five n plus five n. This one five negative one. So you see when 5 and 5 negative 1, when you want to combine, you are going to add up the power which is equal to 105. So when you see here, you can take out 5n. Okay, when you take 5n out, because every term got 5n here, you get 5, 1 here. So you see here, this one, the coefficient is actually 1, 1 times 5n, so minus 1. And this one you get plus, you see this one is minus and this one is plus, 5 negative 1 is equal to 105. 5n is equal to 5 minus 1 plus 5 power of negative 1 is 1 over 5 is equal to 105. 5 minus 1 plus 1 over 5 is equal to 21 over 5. 5 and 21 over 5 is equal to 105. So we can bring this one at the other side. 5 and is equal to 105 divided by 21 over 5. 105 divided by 21 over 5. So here we get 25. Which is equal to 25. 5n is equal to 25. 5n is equal to 25 if 5 power of 2. Therefore, n is equal to 2. Okay, it's going this way. Thirty-two. 4x is equal to 4. 8x plus 6. So you check. You see here 32... 32 is equal to shift factorize. 32 is 2 power of 5. And 4 is 2 power of 2. So you can change both sides uh, to the base of 2. So here 2 power of 5. 2 power of 5. 4x is equal to 2 power of 2. 
8x plus 6. Okay, 2, 5 times 4, x is 20x is equal to 2, 2 times 8x plus 6. Since the base is the same, you can just take the power. 20x is equal to 2x plus 6. 20x is equal to 2 times 8x is 16x. 2 times 6 is 12. Bring at one side. 20x minus 16x is equal to 12. 20 minus 16 is 4. x is equal to 12. x is equal to 12 divided by 4. Where you get? 3. So where is 3? This way. 4, 2x minus 1 is equal to 64x. 64 is 4 power of 3. 2x minus 1 is equal to 4 power of 3x. 4, 2x minus 1 is equal to 4. 3 times x is 3x. Base same. So you just take the power, bring at one side, 2x will move here. So at this side we have 3x minus 2x is equal to negative 1, where x is equal to negative. 3x minus 2x is x, right? x is equal to negative 1, so x is equal to negative 1. 16, 2x minus 3 is equal to 8, 4, x. This one is also can be changed to base 2. This one is 2 power of 4. This one is 2 power of 3. Okay, divide. So this one is 2 power of 4. 2x minus 3 is equal to 2 power of 3, 4x. So 2, 4, 2x minus 3 is equal to 2, 3, 4x. So since the base is equal, you can just take the power. 4, 2x minus 3 is equal to 3, 4x. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 3 times 4x is 12x. You want this one to be positive. This one is moving to this set. This area, this area we get 12x. When 8x positive moving inside this area, we get negative 8x. And this area maintained with negative 12. So 12 minus 8 is 4x is equal to negative 12. x is equal to negative 12 divided by 4. So here we get negative 3. 2 x plus 4 minus 2 x plus 3 is equal to 1. So here 1 can also be changed to 2 power of 0. Anything, any power of 0, a power of 0, you will get 1. Okay, this one you have minus here. You can stop at one side first because both sides got x. So this one is 2 x times 2 power of 4. Minus 2 x, 2 power of 3 is equal to 1. So you see here, you can take out 2x, 2 power of 4 minus 2 power of 3 is equal to 1. So here 2x, 2 power of 4 is 16 minus 8 is equal to 1, 2x, 16 minus 8 is 8. So we can have 2x here. We bring 8 to the other side, which become divide. 2x is equal to, 8 is equal to 2 power of 3. 2x is equal to, when you want to bring it up, the power will become negative. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3. Finish.